My name is Jeff June. I'm the CEO and founder of Ischemia Care. In Ischemia Care, we develop blood tests for the cause of stroke. We've run the largest and most successful stroke biomarker trial that's ever been conducted. We've recruited over 1,600 patients that go into developing four distinct signatures. Stroke is a very big problem. Every year in the U.S. alone, there's over 2 million emergency room visits that result in about 800,000 strokes. And there's a very big problem in terms of identifying the cause of these strokes and identifying the proper treatment for these patients. For example, of the 800,000 strokes, in 40% of those cases, the cause is never determined. So what we do is we work with leading clinicians and stroke centers to provide them with better tools to identify the cause of stroke to prevent secondary recurrence. We've developed the final version of what we call the ISCDX test, which is a blood test for cause of stroke. So the basis of the ischemia care testing draws its roots back to about 15 years ago as part of major multi-center collaborative research that was performed. So prior to us starting our base clinical trial, there was approximately 1,200 patient samples and over 15 years of peer-reviewed published research. What we did is we used that research as building blocks in terms of creating today what is ischemia care. Some of the challenges were that some of the early research was done on the U133 plus 2, but we made the decision to switch to the HTA microarrays because it provided more robust information, it strengthened our signature, as well as allowed us to look at a variety of different types of RNA, including linked RNA, mesther RNA, uh, microRNA, and, and many things that would be considered non-coding, because our goal ultimately was to develop the best possible signatures. Thermo Fisher has been the ideal partner in terms of developing our technology from beginning to end. We started with the U133 plus 2 microarray. We made a seamless transition to the HTA microarrays. We are using that as an initial commercial platform, and soon we'll be transitioning that to qPCR. And what's great about working with Thermo Fisher is that they've provided the complete products and support to take us from the very earliest stages of discovery all the way through developing and launching commercial products. It's been a tremendous relationship for us, and we wouldn't be where we are today without that type of support and breadth and depth of experience. So the first test that we're working on, this ISCDX, is to identify cause of stroke. The future testing is going to relate to cardiac causes such as atrial fibrillation, which is very difficult to detect in the hospital setting. So think of those first two tests as addressing in-hospital needs. We'll then continue to move upstream closer to the triaging of patients, where we'll be developing testing that can help clinicians determine whether a stroke has occurred or not, but as well as identify the, the optimal form of intervention that can be used to save that patient's life.